Hey guys, your boy Bears, and welcome to the review for episode 5 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship with Magic Gauntlet of Fire. Now, who, for the OZ who, who are fans of Harry Potter, do not get this confused with the, the movie Goblet of Fire. It's completely. Well, there's dragons and magic. There's some similarities, but. It, it's it, it's My Little Pony. It's it's not it's not the movie. He, right, good. We cleared that up. <laughs> anyway, so the episode is about Hoot, 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 Spike having to compete to become the Dragon Lord. So the episode starts off with Rarity and Spike. In some sort of cave, they never specify where they were, but there was gems, kind of like stuck into the wall, and there was bats. I don't know where these are fruit bats. I don't know if they're vampire fruit bats. They didn't specify what kind of bat, or they gave us little information at the start of the episode. Oat, oat, and where he he was trying not to eat. Not, not try not to use her magic so much. She was trying to use. Mm -hmm. She was trying to use the right amount of magic, as not to awaken the bats. Because obviously, when a pony uses their horn, that horn glows. Those in rarity actually points this out. But that's the one thing. Mm -hmm. She. I guess dislikes about being a unicorn is that the horn has to lie up for the magic to be used and obviously she's trying to get gems obviously for a dress this or several dresses knowing rarity and uh Spike is helping her her and suddenly he starts glowing hmm hmm causing rarity to get attacked by the bats after the theme, Rarity brings Spike to the castle where Twilight is having a lunch with Celestia and Luna. Who make an appearance, brilliant, they don't do anything, which... Well, that's not technically true, they do do one thing, their expedition. I just, I, I have no words sometimes. I have no words. Anyway, so Luna and Celestia say they know why Spike is glowing. And that's because the Dragon Lord is summoning him. Which got me to thinking, how do they know this? Then I thought about it, and I think I know. Why, how they knew that it was because the Dragon Lord was calling Spike. I'm guessing that prior to her banishment, Luna and Celestia knew some dragons. And listen to me, now do not take this as canon. You know, you can, if you want if you if you'd like to believe this, this might be you know what? What happened? That's your own priority. But don't go saying oh, I'm confirming anything because I can't do that. I don't work for this pro. Oh no! But here's what I think happened. They knew some dragons before, prior to Luna's banishment, which is how Luna knows what this is about. And obviously, during that time, the Dragon Lord had called upon those dragons. Hmms. Hmms. Now, there's one of two things that could have been what happened. One, maybe... Now, 
the guy, the dragon lord, in this episode, the guy, the dragon who was the current dragon lord at the time, him, said that hit the laws didn't allow him. Were were saying that the dragon laws weren't allowing him to continue on as dragon lord. Obviously, meaning that dragon can only be dragon lord for a certain period of time before they have to pass it on to some other dragon. And I'm guessing that the dragon lord before this dragon lord called upon all dragons, meaning the dragons that Celestia and Luna knew, to go compete for the title dragon lord as well, and, and, and maybe those dragons had an egg, and they never came back. This would explain where Celestia got Spike's egg, because she didn't, maybe she didn't know, she, oh it could be hatched, she didn't know what to do with it, so she just kept it around, and, I mean, this could be the case, or, or me. Maybe they did just find Spike's egg, but this would explain how they knew that it was the Dragon Lord calling to the dragons, is that they knew some dragons, and that would also explain where they got Spike's egg, is that these dragons, when they went to f compete for, you know, the title of Dragon Lord, for whatever reason, they did not come back, leaving Spike's egg in the in the care of Celestia and Luna. Now, that could be the case, I don't know. Well, feel free to debate in the comments. Anyway, back to the episode. So, well, Spike, he gets told that he has to go to the Dragonlands to find out what the Dragon Lord wants from him. And the Dragon Lord, as I've already stated, was, you know, calling all the dragons to compete for the title of the new Dragon Lord. And he says he's been Dragon Lord. He didn't say how long, but he said he's been Dragon Lord longer than most of the dragons would remember. And considering dragons apparent, I mean, I'm guessing dragons live very, very long in, you know, if Whenever you read about them uh, in our world, um, I think I don't know, I've not read anything about dragons. So if anyone can tell me if they live long, I'm assuming you know most mythical creatures are do have long lifespans, which would make me think dragons do as well. So yeah. So, obviously, this guy's been Dragon Lord longer than most of those dragons have been hatched. Hatch, hatch, especially Spike, because he's probably the youngest there. So, Spike initially wants to leave after he stopped glowing, and, but when he hears, but the dragon from Dragon Quest, Garble, I think it's called, he was called. Uh, that's probably wrong, to be honest. Uh, but he s says if he wins, he's gonna attack Equestria. And a lot of the dragons were actually talking about attacking Equestria. One guy wanted to take all of the pillows for some reason, because apparently dragons sleep on rocks. I mean... If I was Spike, listen to that, I'd be like, dude, you know, if you ask the ponies for a bed, they'll probably give you one. Although, to be fair, most of the dragons would probably be too big for a pony-sized bed. But, you know. Magic. Magic can do crazy things in the world of Equestria. I'm just saying. But, yeah. Upon hearing this, Spike decides... That he has to compete and per to save Equestria. During the competition, Spike befriends the daughter of the current Dragon Lord, 
Ember, which is a very creative name for a dragon there has bro very well done. And seriously, he, 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 I mean seriously, he, he like, Ember. Really? It's just crazy, man. Crazy. But yeah, he befriends her and the Twilight and Rarity at some point are discovered and Twilight, so Ember and Spike team up to, because Ember doesn't want to attack the ponies either. She doesn't want that at all. Oh. And her main reason for entering is her father, the Dragon Lord, the guy, the dra the current Dragon Lord, had said that he didn't want her to enter because he didn't think she was big and strong enough. So, after her long, hmm, hmm, like, course to where the, he, uh, to where the, the scepter thing is, um, eventually it comes down to the last, the dragons, the three dragons who first make it to where the scepter thing is, is Spike, Ember, and Garble. Cool. And, um, Ember, her fights off Gar Garble, they, f they start fighting until Spike, he can grab the the, the um, thing, the uh, scepter thing, and become the Dragon Lord. And then he commands Garble to go home and to hug every dragon he meets on the way and not tell why. Which, you know, I guess is, you know, okay, comeuppance. Um, I would have commanded him to leave Equestria and never come back because like once he learns what happened next he's probably going to try and like maybe when he's bigger maybe he'll try to attack the Equestria anyway he just it seems like Spike missed a, missed a key element to getting rid of this dragon forever. But, uh, anyway, Spike, after her garble leaves, gives the scepter to Amber and says, as I don't want to be dragon lord, my place is with my friends in Equestria. Uh, you bring your the scepter to your father and he'll, and you'll be the official dragon lord. Heard. 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 And then there's a lovely scene where they her where she is declared Dragon Lord and all the dragons celebrate. Garl still making his way home, I guess he stuck around to hug everyone because he hugs the uh, Ember's father and he's like, "What the hell are you doing?" And he says, "I can't tell you." <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was a terrible attempt to have a voice, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. So, and then, so Spike, Rarity, and Twilight are walking on her home. And Rarity's talking about how she, he got some new, new idea. She got an inspiration for a new line called, well, ca of camouflage -ish gear. Her, her. Twilight is now going to be able to write to Ember anytime she wants to find out more about dragons. So obviously, maybe Twilight can maybe Twilight can work with Ember to figure out more about what happened, where Spike came from, or she could just ask Celestia because apparently Celestia knows more than she's letting on. And if my theory from earlier in this video is correct, which you know, you never know. But, oh, 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 I can't fault this episode. It's really good. So, oh, it's the, it's, well, it's, 
I was going to say it was the best Spike episode, but there's not a lot of competition there, but it is. It's the best Spike episode we've gotten. You know, he got character development. He became Dragon Lord for a few moments. And it's too bad it's probably he's... You know, it was better that he didn't, didn't become, you know, the full-on Dragon Lord because it's just, it just it wouldn't have mattered to be honest. He's still gonna be he 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 uh, assistant, and it's not gonna ma it wouldn't have mattered that much anyway. So it better that he gave it to him. I'm sure she'll do a fantastic job. We'll never, we'll probably never see her again. Maybe a one-off appearance at some point down the road, but that's probably it. Um, but yeah, another solid episode. Would would I'm gonna give this one a seven out of ten. I can't in my right. Mine say it's better than the first first three episodes, and I say three episodes. I mean, I'm counting the premiere as one episode because I view them together. So yeah, solid so far, brilliant, and I uh, can't wait for next week's episode, which is is is. No Second Prances. The synopsis of this episode has not been revealed yet. So, we're in for a surprise. It should be fun. Hooray! <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button. <laughs> it is. Leave in the comment section below what you think of my theory on how Celestia and Luna know who, who more about dragons than they're letting on. <laughs> What more do they know? Ooh. Ooh. It's all a big conspiracy! Nah, I'm just kidding. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the special like button. And until next time, I hope you all have a very nice day. Peace.